Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to configure Gina. Gina is a program that you run alongside EverQuest that, that takes information from your combat log and displays it on your screen in a much easier to read, almost impossible to miss fashion. It's great for boss emotes, uh, ability cooldowns, timers, raid leader instructions, all sorts of stuff. It's very similar to a program called Game Text Triggers, if you're familiar with that. But I like Gina a little bit more. It's got a few extra features and a little bit more custom ability. So the first thing you have to do is you gotta go to the internet. Once you get to the internet, you go to this website up here, eq.gmasoft.com slash Gina. On the left you'll see a link to the downloads and you might have to update your .NET framework. That's real easy. There's a link right there on the screen for you. And it takes you to the Microsoft Download Center. Just press the big red button. No thanks, continue. And save file. Once that's done, you just run that. Microsoft Installer will pop up. And you see, I've already done this, so it's not going to install anything for me. But it'll say something different if you do need to upgrade. Alright, so after that, go ahead and navigate back to the Gina website. Click on the download Gina link right here. Save file again. It's a real small program, it doesn't take much time to download or install at all. And that'll pop up. From here, you're going to want to add a profile. All this stuff is going to be blank. This is all stuff I've already configured for my character. But I'll show you how to do that later on. That's in part two of this guide. This is just part one. This will get you up and running with Gina so you can receive triggers from your raid leader and you know what the hell's going on during a fight. But anyway, so you go to add character and this screen will pop up. You name the profile whatever you want. Test profile because I'm boring. And we'll use my character name and fuse. You can ignore the audio setting stuff. It's not terribly important. But you do need to find your log file. Now typically the log is going to be located under the C drive and then users and then public, Sony Online Entertainment, installed games. And usually you'll see EverQuest here, but my EverQuest is in a different directory. So I'm going to go back up to the C drive, find EverQuest, hit logs, and it should be right here. If you don't have these EQ log files, it's because you have to enable logging in the game. All you do is go to EverQuest and type log or slash log on. And that'll enable logging. Now you'll definitely have these files here. If you still can't find your file your log file, it's real easy. Just go to the search. Type in your character name. And it'll show up. And you just right click it. And you go to open file location. <clears throat> and look at that. It will take you and show you up here exactly where it is. Makes it real easy. And now you're pretty much on your way. If you don't care about uh, setting up all this stuff for DPS and whatever, you're pretty much done. Uh, you can you can receive triggers from other people and they'll tell you how to play raids and that's the real benefit of Gina so now I'm going to show you how sharing works and what to do so Gina has a cool feature called sharing how this works is somebody in the game sends you a trigger through text and Gina understands it imports it directly into the program. I'm going to tab over to EverQuest real quick and get a trigger 
from our raid leader, Leonid. Just wait. Maybe I'll dub some Jeopardy news up. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now we go back to Gina. And you can see here it says Leonib is attempting to share a trigger package with you. From here, you want to press accept. And you'll get this screen here. And you'll see he's sharing a category called raids, and I already have one. So I'm just gonna when you when you press this merge button down here, it's gonna merge his raids into mine. And my triggers will be fine. It'll just add whatever his package contains. So we'll merge that and see what he sent me. Okay, so he sent me Grelith. A cloud of smoke blurs your vision. And this is a debuff called Smog Screen that needs to be cured. So now, when I get this text, a cloud of smoke blurs your vision, I'll know to cure Smog Screen. Slash to cure Smog Screen. And it'll tell me that because I'm paying attention to other things. So. That's basically sharing, you know. It also works with game text triggers. It is backwards compatible, so if somebody sends you a string that doesn't start with Gina but it starts with a GTT, it'll also work. And yeah. Well, that'll probably cover it for part one of this guide. You've installed Gina, you've set up a profile and you've received a trigger via sharing. Now, if that's all you care to do, you've already made yourself a better raider. Now, if somebody shares a trigger for a boss fight, what's going to happen is they're going to show up in some of these overlays. Now these overlays won't look so messy when you're actually in the game. You won't have these uh, settings options. It'll just display the text or whatever right on top of your screen. Uh, if you'd like to know more about that, you can check out part two of my guide where I go over some options, uh, custom ability, and how to set up a trigger, and all that other good stuff. But that's only if you want to. Just doing this is going to help. So do it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.